players describe the Pioneer metagame much like one describes eating at Chipotle. Speaking of explosive diarrhea, let's talk about the Pioneer metagame. Ironically, everyone expected red aggro decks to dominate the format, however, a major shortage of cards that cost one makes aggro almost unplayable. And in the absence of early game threats, the metagame is overrun with planeswalkers, so many planeswalkers. In particular, planeswalkers that cost three. And what is the best planeswalker to play on turn three? That would most certainly be Ugin. And the answer as to how we get a turn three Ugin lies in my brew here. Basically, it's a combo between Vessel, which we can play on turn two, and on the following turn, we can make an additional two mana. Then we play Iron Crag Feet. So in other words, we go from three mana to five mana and then to eight mana. And what can we do with eight mana? That's right, Ugin Pugin. Ugin's second ability is devastating. It exiles all color permanents with converted mana cost X or less. And given just how many three costing planeswalkers there are in the format, one does not survive an Ugin. We usually do a minus three, which means both our Chandra and our Nissa are safely out of range. But now let's talk about Nissa. Nissa untaps one of our lands and turns it into a 3-3. And luckily the 3-3 is colorless, meaning that Ugin's wipe won't kill it. But that is not all Nissa does. Nissa also doubles the mana that our forest produced. And luckily red green has a lot of forest. And that is a lot of mana potential for Ugin, Ulamog, and Walking Ballista. But even if the Nissa route does not work, we still have other ways to ramp. We have Grazer which puts a land from her hand into play. We also have Rejuvenator. It digs for a land and puts it into play. And we even have Chandra to produce two red mana. And lastly we have Oath and Nissa. It basically draws a card. But more importantly, its ability says we may spend mana as though it was any color to cast Planeswalker spells, which means we can cast Nissa with red and Chandra with green. That's the main deck now on the sideboard. We have Artifact Hate, Creature Hate, Counter Hate, Graveyard Hate, Life Gain, More Counter Hate, and Activate Ability Hate. That is the deck, now it's time for the gameplay. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more Pioneer content, but without further ado, here's the gameplay and I hope you enjoy. Opening hand is muy grande. I see a turn through you again, we'll keep. Oh, please don't have thought seize. Oh, okay. So far so good, start with the thicket. And as long as we don't see discard, okay, good. Zombie dude is fine. And now play a forest and a vessel. Back to them. Another servant. They hit us for two. And now it's time for them to die. Fire the vessel. Play the feet. Seven mana. This is the eighth. And now a turn three Ugin. Isn't this great? Oh, there's a the concede. Oh my gosh. Wasn't, wasn't that amazing? We can't always be that lucky, but the, the, the feeling is so good. I mean, for us, not for our opponent. But hooray for us. Going into game two, we saw they were zombies. So it's probably hard to keep Chandra alive. We'll dump these and put in a braid and anger of the gods. And with that, let's go to game two. Opening hand, we got the grazer. Pretty good turn one play, and yeah, we'll keep. Pull another land. Start with the grazer. And back to our opponent. What's his ease? Collect brutality. Oh no, they got us. Our poor opponent. Oh gosh. We're so evil. But it will. Play a thicket and a vessel. Back to opponent. And they play a servant. And back in our turn, six mana potentially. Meh. We'll hold on to a braid and pass back. Opponent well, plays corpse knight. Huh. Probably should have braided the servant now. And just hope they don't have sorcerer spyglass. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, so much for Ugin. All right, back on our turn. Play Rejuvenator. <laughs> I'm so sorry. If we lose, it's my fault. All right, back to our phone. Play, play the Zombie Lord and swing for three. Uh, chump. No, oh my God. Back to our opponent. Opponent draws a card and plays Crit Breaker. They swing for three, sure. Okay. Oh, oh, sweet Jesus. We can make nine mana this turn. One short of both the Braid and Ugin. So we'll braid on our opponent's turn. They give zombies menace, hitting us for five, down to eight. And they also play Colossus, sure. But do you know what time it is? It is time to clap some cheeks. Goodbye, Spyglass. And hello, Cheek Claps. Ugin, exiling three or less. And it's back to our opponent. Oh, the second chance feels so good. I was feeling really bad about that first braid. And back on our turn, what joy. Hit the zombie lord, play Nyssa. And all of our lands happen to be for us, which is why there's the concede from our opponent. Poor soul. But what can we say? I mean, we are the the cheek clappers after all but the cheek clapping has just begun because on to the next match and what a great time to mention that daddy has made more of his hand painted deck boxes if you want one they're available at decknut.com but now back to the gameplay opening hand we have some payoff cards or so missing the early game ramp we might be able to hit it with once upon a time so we'll keep starting with once upon a time forest meh all right back to our opponent oh, but they pass back interesting back to them and then they pass back play a mountain and pass back they play game trick Oh, but, but 
but they pass back. A pretty intense battle here. And might as well play a Chandra. Dealing two to them. And guess what? It's back to them. Oh, well, they're playing something. Oh, Wild Slash. Oh, they're playing something else. What? This is so unlike them. Oh, a 5-4 that could potentially give haste. Yeah, we'll kill that. So Chandra goes to Jesus. And now we play Nissa. Swinging in for three. They're at five lands here. What shall they do? They play Hara. That could be troublesome. It's a little risky if we let them keep this. So we can't do that because we don't know what's in their hand. So to play things extra safe, let's play Chandra. Hit the piggy for four. And then go up to five mana, untap a land. And might as well just tap down here and put Ballista on four, dealing two to the piggy. Hooray. That should buy us quite a bit of time. And oh, Sweltering Suns. Three damage to all of our creatures. Meh. Okay, we're losing two of our lands. But I think we'll be just fine. Well, let's play the thicket. Untap with Nissa. Then activate Chandra. See what's on top. Oath and Nissa, sure. And meh. Just did land. All right, swing for three. Third eight, back to them. And it seems our opponents had enough because of theirs to concede. In game two, no change to the sideboard. And we can turn one Grazer, yeah. And draw with this, sure, we'll keep. Meh, another land, okay. Play the Grazer, put something ground into play. And it's back to our opponent. Oh, so then call it off. And nice as Chandra for next turn. So we'll play a land and draw a card. Elvis Rejuvenator, meh. Back to opponent. But they're at four mana here. Rhythm of the Wild, okay. So then give their creatures haste. Or plus one, plus one when they enter. And ooh, make seven this turn, but uh, that's not enough for Ugin next turn, though. The problem is if we know we're going Ugin next turn, do we really want Chandra on the field? Because if they play a thick creature, Chandra could get hit in the crossfire. So I think a safer option, Elvis Rejuvenator, grabbing a land, play another land, and pass back. Let's see what they've got. Champion Aronis, when it attacks this turn, they can put a creature card from the hand into play. Yet they play the pig. Might as well chump here. And it's a good thing we didn't play Chandra last turn, because we're going for the big wipe. Hooray for us. Make seven, up to eight, and it's Ugin time. Wipe for five. Hooray. Will they concede, though? I mean, they're staring down at Ugin with three lands out. They pretty much need haste here. Corsair of Halala. And they do have a land on top. Hmm. Maybe it's not over quite yet, but we do have Chandra and Ooh, nice, Ugin. So here's what we'll do. Hit them for three. Chandra on this dude. And it's back to them. Hmm, they play that thing. The next turn, I'll give the pig haste. And we certainly can't have that. Okay, it's a bit tricky here. We'll exile a card from the top. Land, man. Play a second Chandra. And all oh, they concede. Would have slammed that with a new Chandra. Up, Ugin, and the next turn wiped them. Like, with Ugin out, well, they can't do anything. But I guess we can say that things went exactly as we planned. And now it's on to the next match. Oh, putting hand. Turn one Grazer. Although we are short on lands, but we'll keep Grazer or Crag. Now let's see what our opponent's got. Gil the Goose. Okay. And we pull Ugin. Interesting. Okay, we gotta go with Anissa. And this is kind of tough. We want to lean towards Nissa or Chandra into Crag Ugin. Oh, it's kind of lame, but I think we gotta go Nissa. Even though I might regret that. Back to our opponent. But on the bright side with Oath and Nissa, we can cast Chandra with green. But I was more concerned with the feet card. And oh, look, a Planeswalker. How surprising. And meh, another Oath and Nissa. Why can't we just hit a land? All right, play the oath. Take the forest. And it's back to our opponent. One plus land of war. And two lands open. Hmm. Well, that's not good. And huh, fifth land. This could be very risky. But we'll try Nissa and pray no counter. Hooray! And make the mountain. And swing it to fairy. And huh, to fairy takes it. Interesting. Okay, okay. And what does he say? Make a food token. Okay. But they'll have to do more than that. Because soon big boy will join the fun. Breeding pool tap. And oh, they sacrifice to fairy. Interesting. I mean, we can just replay it. They play with Anissa, and they grab a Reflector Mage. Hmm. And ooh, Sahili. We're gonna have fun with Sahili next turn. But not just fun with Sahili, fun with all their stuff. Because it is time to die. And I hope I don't screw this up, but Andra, untap Mountain, make red, red. Then green, we have five mana here. Iron Crag Feet, that's now eight mana. Ugin, X is three. And oh man, that feels amazing. Like, what, what is our opponent gonna do now? Three Planeswalkers, like, come on, just concede. Grab Felidar Guardian, but like, Build our guardian. There's a the concede. Man, oh, that nice. Go in the game two and jump this stuff for this stuff. And with that, let's go to game two. Opening oh, hand, much risk, but yeah, we'll try it. I want to start with the goose. We'll start with the grazer. Oh, another grazer. And send it back to them. You know what disease? Oko, sure. And back on our turn, meh. Gotta go with Othanissa. Grabbing a land. And might as well play a grazer back to our opponent. They animate the food. Swing for three, we'll take it. And they play a refiner. That is fine. And cool, stomping ground. Let's do this. Chandra, slam the refiner and send it back to our opponent and oh both that chandra will protect it they play elves goose and they pass back play land up chandra ah and a land from that and okay rejuvenator we gotta ramp the hard way back to our opponent they play reflector mage make another creature his for four and kills chandra and back in our turn meh. next turn they'll swing for three six nine twelve fourteen you can still go up three but we'll still take eleven so yeah they got us we're going to game three opening hand it's certainly interesting
interesting. So we'll keep it. I kind of feel like I cyborged it wrong because like with a braid, it's good if they have the spyglass. But like we could have had an iron crag instead, which means we could have had a turn three Ugin in this game. I mean, it's pretty good. But if we lose, it's probably because of my miss cyborging. Yeah, interesting. No turn one play. Yet they still kept their hand. They must have something good in there. Art of Kieran. And perhaps we'll kill it. But for now, we pass back. What is these? Okay, fine. But I guess we'll abrade it and risk the spyglass. And what to do here? What to do? I think the best move here is stomping ground, vessel, and then Nissa. Turning the forest into creature, swing at Oko, and it's back to our opponent. Gosh, I'm getting really nervous for some reason. My heart's beating really fast. Because next turn, we could go Ugin. They play open Nissa. If they turn the food token into a creature, it turns green, so it'll get hit by Ugin. Could be a negate there. This is very tricky. So maybe a safer option here. Play the thicket, turn into a creature, hit Oko, see if they have a response to that. No, they let Oko die. What? All right, in that case, we'll just pass it back. What is these? Felidar, sure. They flicker the oak, grabbing a second Felidar. Here's where things get grande. We could wipe them, clearing a path. Yeah, I think we have to. So we'll go two, four, six, untap, eight, plus a red, and aim X equal to four. That wipes them with one green open. Oath and Nissa, grabbing Chandra, hit them for six, and that should lock things down with Felidar. You can Chandra the Felidar, and that should be good enough. And there's the concede. I mean, we spanked them pretty hard, so who can blame them? But it's on to the next match. The opening hand's a little underwhelming, but we'll give it a shot. Opponent plays once upon a time, grabbing Winding Constrictor, ooh. If it's artifacts, we could be in trouble. We shall go with Anissa. Hitting Ugin or Ballista, definitely Ballista. And back to opponent. Opponent plays Constrictor, making the pelt into a 3-3. We pull a Grazer, nice. So let's up Anissa. And we hit Anissa, huh. Yeah, I'll grab Anissa. That means we got a shock though. Grazer, and it's back to our opponent. Oh, and they play a Rishgar, oh. We might be in trouble. Man, so much for no aggro decks in the metagame. Okay, chump here. And things aren't looking good, but we'll play Chandra. And then make two mana for Ballista and send it back to our opponent. What does he use? Oh, they have walking Ballista. Yep, they definitely have us here. So we're going to game two. Going into game two. We're going to bring in the creature destruction stuff. And with that, let's go to game two. Opening hand is really bad, so we're going to mole. This, on the other hand, is keepable. Starting with Grazer. And they start with hardened scales. And ooh, nice. Play the vessel. Land tap. And now all we need is a payoff card. And ooh, the abrupt decay. Pretty clever. But it's not like we had a payoff card in hand. Back on our turn, we pull a mountain. And then pass back to them. And then they play another hardened scales. What? And a constrictor. Dang. That means three additional counters. Man, we can't allow that. So anger of the gods. And it's back to our opponent. Which is East Old Ballista. That's a problem. It's a 4-4 four, four now. Next turn will be a 7-7. Seven, seven. And dang, where's our payoff cards? Oh, This is not a good way to lose. And they play a Rishkar. Even with an Ugin, though, walking Ballista is really hard for us to deal with. Yeah, I think he's got a bad matchup here. Oh, my ping. And they have enough for lethal. All right, so our win streak comes to an end. What's strange is that there really isn't that many hardened scales decks in the metagame. It was just a combination of a really tough matchup with a really bad opening hand. But I can't complain too much because the last three matches went really, really well. So hooray, even though we lost. I had a lot of fun there. And as long as Planeswalker decks continue to dominate the Pioneer metagame, I will gladly play a deck that has a turn three Ugin in it. But that is all for now. Thank you to everyone who was able to get one of my deck boxes. And as always, I hope you have a great day.